you never know which audio format to use, stick around and this video will help. Hey everyone, I'm Dom from Wondershare Unique Converter. Before we get into specific file formats, it's important to understand the difference between analog and digital audio. While the audio that you hear, regardless of it's uh, somebody playing the guitar or the piano or it's coming from your JBL speaker, the sound that you're hearing is always going to be analog. The way it's processed and played, there's a difference. Analog audio captures continuous sound waves directly, like the grooves on a vinyl record or the magnetic tape in a cassette. Digital audio, on the other hand, converts sound waves into a series of numbers or samples which can be stored, processed and played back by computers and digital devices. Sound travels in waves, and to capture these waves digitally, we use a process called sampling. The sample rate, measured in hertz, indicates how many samples per second are taken. The higher the sample rate, the more accurately the digital representation matches the original sound. Common sample rates include 44.1 kHz for CDs and 48 kHz for professional audio. But in professional audio recording, this could go up to 96k or even higher. Another important factor is bit depth, which determines the number of bits used to represent each sample. Higher bit depths allow for more dynamic range in the recording. Okay, now let's dive into file formats. MP3. Let's start with one of the most well-known formats, MP3. MP3 is a compressed format, which means that it reduces the file size by eliminating some of the audio information. This is known as lossy compression. MP3 files are popular because they strike a good balance between file size and sound quality, making them ideal for casual listening and sharing music online. They're widely supported by virtually all devices and media players. AAC. Next up is AAC which stands for Advanced Audio Coding. This format is similar to MP3, but offers better sound quality at the same bit rates. AAC is the standard format for YouTube or Apple Music, for instance. It's a great choice for streaming and downloading music because it provides high quality audio with relatively small file sizes. WAV. WAV files are commonly used in professional audio recording and editing. They are uncompressed, which means they retain all the original audio data, resulting in a very high quality sound. However, this also means WAV files are much larger than compressed formats. They're ideal for situations where audio quality is paramount, such as in studios or archiving purposes. FLAC FLAC is a popular format for audio files. As a lossless compression format, it reduces file size without any loss in audio quality. This makes FLAC files larger than MP3 or AAC, but much smaller than WAV files. FLAC is great for users who want to preserve the original quality of their audio while saving some storage space. Before we move on to the other formats, I'd like to talk about the Uniconverter, which is an all-in-one multimedia toolbox with the most powerful converter function out there. With its converter tool, you can convert any audio and video formats back and forth in a batch to speed up your workflow even more. It's super fast and it does support all multimedia formats. So if you're in need of converting files, it's the Uniconverter that I recommend. ALAC. Similar to FLAC, ALAC is Apple's version of lossless compression. It offers the same benefit of maintaining original audio quality while reducing the file size. ALAC, let's call it ALEC, Alec is particularly useful for users with the Apple ecosystem. OGG Vorbis OGG Vorbis is an open source lossy audio format. It's comparable to MP3 and AAC in terms of quality and file size, but because it's open source, it's free from licensing fees. This makes OGG Vorbis popular among developers and platforms that want a high quality, flexible format without the costs. Windows Media Audio WMA is Microsoft's audio format. It offers both lossy and lossless compression options. While it's not as universally supported as MP3 or AAC, it's a good choice for users who are deeply integrated into the Windows ecosystem. WMA files can provide good audio quality at lower bit rates, making them useful for streaming. AIFF AIFF is an audio format developed by Apple, and like WAV, it's uncompressed. It's widely used in professional audio and video production due to its high quality. 
However, the large file size makes it less practical for everyday use. It's often the format of choice in the Mac-based recording studios. So there you have it, the 8 most commonly used audio file formats. From the high-quality uncompressed WAV and AIFF files used by professionals to the efficient compressed formats like MP3 and AAC, favored by casual listeners and streamers. So now you know which one to choose for your own needs. But that's all for today. If you found this video helpful, leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next video.